What's up, homies? It's your girl, Gypsy. I just wanna let you guys know what we're doing here today. So this is the next part in the series where I'm showing you guys all of my made to move hybrid dolls in my collection. Um, they either have full articulated made to move bodies or they have bodies that are partially made to move joints mixed with some other kind of joints. So I'll differentiate between those ones. And um, we're gonna start off with the brown skin tone for the yoga doll made to move yellow top matches but before we get into that i actually wanted to add one more thing in my previous um segment i already showed you guys the darkest skin tone that's available and at the time when i was filming all together i had 81 dolls that have these made to move joints but as while i was still filming i ended up getting this in which would be adding one more to the collection so um, this is the BMR 1959 Petite Doll from Wave 2 and I'll be showing a little bit more of her later but because she just came that's going to create one more space that needs to be taken up in this tally here for those of you who are keeping track. She actually matches the skin tone for the Made to Move Lavender uh, doll or the Hiker Barbie so it's the darkest skin tone for her um, yeah so I just wanted to make sure that I added her in and didn't forget her and let's jump into the rest of the skin tones like I said I would do I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more detail um, from this angle and you can see that she's got like a purple kind of hair color it's almost like a pastel purple, but I do see that there are very, very like tiny streaks in there of another color. It's really hard to tell, but I think that it's blue or maybe a darker purple. So hard to tell in the shot, I know. But hopefully when I take her hair down, you'll be able to see them better. And you can see there in the back of her head, there's another bun back there. So in pictures, it looks like it's only the three in the front. Thought I would point that out. I love her door knocker earrings. She's got purple nail polish. Her little hands are really pretty. I'm glad they don't have those flat hands that the made to move dolls normally come with. And she is in height petite, so she's shorter than the other dolls with the same body type. She's my only petite made to move doll so far. I think she's the only one that even exists right now on the market and her skin tone would match those dark dolls that we already uh, looked at in a previous installment. So she should be the same complexion as them. Okay, so she and she will make my made to move collection of dolls basically number 82 here. Okay, so let's go on to the rest of the of the complexions I have. Okay, numero uno is going to be this one here which was this is actually an integrity toys doll head rupaul and i was sent a package of doll heads from our good dolly friend alfonso follow alfonso on instagram if you want to see what else is in his collection because most of his dolls are very elite looking like this and also very glamorous the way that he styles them and this particular one, I believe that he rerouted her. So that's not the original hair color that she came with, I don't think. But I'm not sure because I'm not familiar with exactly which um, versions of these dolls they are. But she matched the made to move yellow top body. And that's the skin tone we're going to be doing now. So she, she has a really cool expression on her face and all this detail on the makeup too. Yeah, Barbie hasn't been doing this much with their Playline dolls. Even their little bit more high-end dolls, their makeup has been a lot more subtle and very, like, low-key these days. Which is okay, but at the same time, depending on what kind of doll it is, sometimes you look cool with the cool makeup. Because, you know, it's not an everyday look. But, anyway... This one is a Lasney, and she is a Barbie doll head, and she's got this big hole in her head at the top because she came with this headpiece, this huge, tall, gold headpiece 
that inserted there at the top of her head. So that's why she's bald. I still like her with or without the headpiece. You can't really see that hole when you're just posing the doll and taking pictures and stuff. So I'm not bothered by it. And she has a little bit different body. She's the same complexion as the yellow top, but she has the Lieutenant Uhuru body from Star Trek series, um, which is kind of structured a little bit differently, but it does have made to move joints in the arms. Yeah, it even has the, the pivoting joint here up in the upper arm. And then the only thing it doesn't have is the joint that goes in the thigh there, but you do have the knee joints and then you don't have the ankle joints. So this body is pretty much made to move. It just doesn't have every single joint. The hands are a little bit more like dainty looking. And I just think overall this body type is very elegant compared to the usual made to move bodies, which are kind of a little bit bulky and almost like muscular looking because of the way the joints are positioned on the body. But this body, it's very slender, it's very like sleek and very feminine looking. I like the way that it looks. So I thought she would look nice on this body because the doll itself came just looking so fancy. And I thought it's gonna probably be better on her than a regular made to move. So she's what I would call like a semi MTM hybrid. And this is the original doll with that body. But I believe I renamed this doll. I think her name is, I wanna say it's Everly. I think that's her name. Um, um, but yeah, this is the body that she came on. And those are her original earrings. And her hair is pretty much the way that it came, except that I think I washed all the gel out of it. It was like more like molded down to her head. And so now it's a little bit more like a bob. But I think uh, I liked this mold because she didn't look like a 20 year old. Like all my Barbies for the most part look like they're in their early 20s. And I just feel like sometimes you need a little diversity even with like the age groups. So when I see dolls that kind of look like they could be somebody's mother, <laughs> like maybe in their 40s kind of an age group, I will get those too because I like having the different variations of ages. Unbelievable that she would be somebody's mother or grandmother, you know? Unless it was like a little kid. This is the next doll I have to show you, who is also a gift from Fonzie. And she is um, an Integrity Toys doll head. I don't know the exact name of the doll, you guys, because um, I don't follow Integrity Toys sculpts that well, but I wanna say it's Adele. I feel like that name sounds really familiar to me. I feel like this is Adele, um, but I'm not sure. So, but she's really pretty. I love her lips. They're like slightly parted. This is what I like about Integrity Toys dolls when they do the open mouth. They don't have that like cheesy grin going on. It's just very subtle and very natural looking the way they split the lips open. So I don't have a need to do any type of teeth extractions or anything like that with these. I've never seen an Integrity Toys doll with a goofy grin on their, on their face. So I wish the Barbie would do their open mouth dolls more like this so we don't have to do the teeth extractions, but it is what it is. And because their heads are very hard, you have to heat them before you take them um, on or off of doll bodies. So just keep that in mind if you decide you want to do something similar with your integrity dolls. But she matches the same tone, so I kept her on this body. Okay, and then this one is a, this used to be a sewing style Grace. But I think I repainted this one just for fun. And most of my Soul and Style dolls are repaints except for So One. She's the only one I didn't repaint. But I think I had gotten like all four in different skin tones at the time. And I repainted all of them. Um, so anyway, this one I call So, so Me. And she is uh, supposed to be a Blazing girl. All of their sculpts are in Billy's. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, so I'm just gonna write the spelling up on the screen so you guys can see what the head mold is called but this sculpt is this really the same sculpt as grace what we are calling grace um with the uh fashionistas like this one right here everybody calls this head sculpt grace but that's because it's basically the same sculpt 
but like one version of it is a little bit bigger in the mold like very slightly bigger and the features are more pronounced it's just like a more exaggerated version and then these sculpts are um a little more subtle the heads are a little bit smaller it's a very slight difference you guys so you're gonna see people interchanging those names a lot for the sculpt so she is a pretty girls doll um stacy mcbride is the designer for this doll and she actually is the same designer who came up with the sew and style doll concepts for barbie when she used to work for them but then she left the company and then started her own thing so her dolls pretty much all have the same sculpt but they're just different skin tones i think this one actually came with the short bob hairstyle i think she did um i don't remember cutting her hair so i think this is the way that it came and her head also it's it's like kind of soft but it's not as soft as barbie's so in order to um, remove the head and put it onto new bodies. It works a lot better if you heat the head for these dolls You're gonna struggle if you don't and possibly risk breaking the dolls Knobs in the inside the neck joint. Okay, the next doll is this one from Mattel and I don't know exactly what the name of this head sculpt is called She really to me looks a lot like Carl, but with like an open mouth smile um, this is a Carl sculpt back here that I have, and you can kind of see the resemblance between them. They look very similar, but I don't know if it is based on a Carl sculpt or if she's supposed to be like a completely different sculpt. I really don't know. I haven't heard anybody talking about it, but she just reminds me of Carl with a smile on her face. So I have a few different versions of this sculpt. Um, because some of the newer fashionistas came with this head sculpt, but they have different hairstyles and different skin tones. But of the ones that I have, this one's my favorite version. I really like all of the rainbow colors in her hair. And it, they did it a little differently because most of her hair is black. It's like mostly a plain color. And then there's these this little small speck on the side. See, this little part here that is colored. And it's like underneath her hair so when I take her hair down it's actually very unnoticeable it's not really flashy and I thought that that was interesting because they normally go really over the top of these rainbow colors and things like mermaids and stuff she did not come with articulation so I put her onto this body which is a yellow top I like the way that the the curls turned out so that's why I just kept them like this for now there's also like hella gel in this hair so if I wash the gel out I don't know if the curls will disappear or what but I like them so I just left them alone all right and this one she's also a fashionista head with a huge fro this feels like a real actual like a real afro like that's the texture the kinkiness of the hair but it's made of really good saran material so it's not gonna like tangle up or get matted which is a huge plus yay um and it's easy to detangle the, that hair if it does get kind of tangly so that's what's up and she's on the same body this is my doll poem and well that's what I named her but she was originally I want to say this doll was either a birthday wishes doll or she was a she's got really long curly hair but it's not like an afro curly it's just very very long her hair is super long when I take it out of this ponytail like it goes all the way down her back it's so pretty and full and I just love it and she actually has the shanny head sculpt from like the 90s dolls um, the black dolls back then, a lot of them when they started actually giving the back black dolls an, their own face sculpts instead of reusing Barbies, they were making a lot of them with the sculpts. So she's kind of like a throwback head sculpt that they brought back a lot like this one, the Asha head sculpt that they used for Yellow Top. This was also like based on an old school face that they used to use. So I thought it was cute and then I decided to just add her in because I like the nostalgia of the 90s was when I was growing up and admiring Barbie dolls, but then I also loved how they modernized her and she just, I don't know, I just thought she stood out. 
And she's got like little baby hairs drawn around her scalp, which was how she came. And I like her a lot. I, I named her Poem because she just looks like she'd be a, a, a deep thinker. And I could see her being like... I don't know, just very like verbal person, articulating things in a very eloquent way. She just looks that way to me. <laughs> so that's why I named her poem. This one is my Gabby Douglas doll, which I also customized. I gave her a little uh, makeover. So I added some hair around the edges of her scalp and I gave her um, a straighter hair texture by uh, ironing her hair, I think. And then I also customized her lips because she had an open tooth, a really, really big open mouth smile that annoyed the heck out of me. So I got rid of the teeth and I like her much better without the teeth. I like the way she turned out. She has a really small head, you guys. Like, it's tiny. Her head is really tiny. <laughs> I'm so used to these big exaggerated heads that they have now for like fashionistas dolls. So when I come across these little heads, I'm like, what happened? But I like the little heads. They're so cute. Anyway, okay, and then here is, I have a Pretty Girls doll on the body of a yellow top. Pretty girl. So this is the next one that I wanna show you with the skin tone. And this one was sent to me by Alfonso as well. She came in the same uh, bundle of doll heads that he had sent me with RuPaul. And she's also an Integrity Toys doll. These were part of his personal collection um, and then I guess he was rotating some dolls through his collection and decided he didn't need these anymore. So he shared them with me. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So uh, um, up until the ones I did end up buying, like these were all my Integrity Toys dolls were pretty much gifts from my viewers and, um, the, and some of them were hybrid dolls like this one. I'm looking, I don't see any other body types of these dolls in that skin tone that I have which I'm assuming is because there are none. Do you guys know of any made to move dolls that have this milk chocolate skin tone? I don't think there are. Um, I do have curvy dolls that are articulated that aren't made to move with the skin tone, but none that have the made to move joints because if I'm not mistaken, we don't have any that are available to even purchase. This doll that I showed you guys a little earlier did I mention that she's also one of the semi made to move dolls? She has um, Uhuru's body too. This body though, I mean, I feel kind of bad calling it semi because it's so well articulated. You know, like the important joints are made to move joints. So this one is a little bit better than some of my other semi made to move bodies, but it's just very elegant looking. Love it. Okay, the next skin tone we're gonna do, this one's a little difficult because uh, there's more than one version of this skin tone. And I'm getting a little bit confused as to like exactly which dolls of mine I have that have that skin tone. Um, Cause I don't really remember like the ones that I got way, way, way in the beginning. But the ones I know for sure, I can let you guys know. So remember when the first wave of made to move dolls that came out, there was one called Blue Top. She had the Teresa head mold. She was very like, she was like a tan color, but she was like really light tan. So almost white, but she was tan. She was definitely pigmented. So I have Zen here who is uh, originally a skipper doll. And I thought this doll looked a lot like a half Korean and white girl that I know. So I kind of made her a Asian girl. Um, based on somebody I know that looks like this. But yeah, so she's got that body. So I have a few dolls that have that original body, but wave two of the Made to Move dolls that had the exact same color tops, for some reason, they made the second wave of Teresa dolls a different skin tone. Like she was slightly more orangey than the original wave that was more like a light tan color. So that's why I'm saying it's like confusing because some of my dolls have the first wave body and some of them have the second wave body, depending on whether or not they matched. Um, and, I, and I had some on stash, like I had some of the first wave dolls on stash for a little while. So some of the newer dolls I was able to put onto that body, but I can't really remember exactly. So this one is Hwan, one of our channel mascots. And she definitely has the wave one Teresa body. And uh, 
it's very you guys these are like such subtle differences they almost look like like pink top and blue top it's hard to tell the difference between the two when you have them side by side so one is originally a uh so and style doll and she is what is this character's name from so and style <laughs> i don't remember you guys oh my god anyways i'll put it up on the screen because i always remember afterwards when i'm like doing the review or like when i'm editing my videos then i'll remember oh yeah it was this and it'll just pop in my head but whatevs this one she is a star doll and i think this one was called um what the hell was a star doll's name god i can't remember anything right now anyway her hair is a hot freaking mess because i had it up in like a bun I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't do her hair, but whatever the case is. Yeah, her face looks so much lighter than her body for some reason. <laughs> so I want to say, because I had her on a different body before. I had her on an Integrity Toys doll body. I think she might be a wave two Teresa because she looks a little more orange compared to them. Look at the body, not the face. Yeah, but this is what I mean. The second Teresa dolls, they, the second wave of Teresa dolls, blue top they made her more like orange so i think she's one of those right now and then this one is the original uh wave one blue top body and i think i customized the hands i think i swapped hands for this body because she was part of my first wave of dolls that i transplanted and this head is part of a fashionista's line doll and um this is naila our muslima girl and she so she's like always covered up but um i didn't like the teeth showing so this one i re extracted the teeth as well and she's got the same mold as my as genesis here who is my original uh she's an original made to move yellow top i have very few actual made to move dolls that are still like their original heads are attached to their body still because i didn't like all of them but this one i actually used her for um a tutorial video that i showed you guys how to extract the teeth in so i kept her because i thought she turned out really good and she's one of my she's actually one of my a-list dolls believe it or not but yeah i love her yeah nyla has the same head sculpt as her so i also removed her teeth this is Aina, and she's one of my Middle Eastern girls. I think I made her, I wanna say she's supposed to be Jordanian. I knew some girls from Jordan that looks like her. Um, but this was originally a, okay, so this is one of those dolls that's like kinda hard to find now at like a decent price. She is the Oklahoma University uh, cheerleader doll she's a cheerleader i'm just trying to remember which school she was supposed to be but yeah um she also had an open mouth smile but i got rid of her teeth as well so you she's really adorable she has one of those small faces i was telling you guys about and i don't know she's just really cute to me so i needed this one i absolutely like i'm in love with this one she's one of my favorites i feel like my a-list dolls i would never sell them like i would never ever sell them unless i was in just desperate like i would tell the whole collection all together not just one at a time because i don't know i feel like that would make it harder for the buyer to actually like justify paying all this money for the dolls <laughs> so she probably wouldn't sell hopefully and then i would be like yeah well i tried anyway okay this one is a goddess head sculpt and i call her lacy lacy azula and she is definitely one of those fashionistas dolls she was i think this one was one of those fashionistas that came on like a different kind of body type and then they had fashion packs that came along with it there was like a wave of like deluxe fashionistas that they had yeah but the goddess sculpt this is actually one of adonis's favorite sculpts and he really loves these sculpts so we added her and she is this very light tan complexion. She has the wave one blue top body as well. Guys, it is a wonder. I even remember half of the names that I am 
telling you of my dolls because I swear a lot of these dolls, I really thought that I had forgotten their names because I haven't handled them in such a while, but like, I usually name them based on how they look. Like, they look like a certain name to me, so like, I'll be like, yeah, okay. And it makes it easier for me to remember because there's like a reason why I named them that. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is by Lani. And shout out Joseph, who um, totally like donated um, funds for us to purchase this doll. He knew that Poppy Parker was one of my Grail dolls. And so he gifted this doll to me and she actually originally came on her Poppy Parker body. But I didn't like how skinny the body was. Like it was very pretty and dainty looking but so skinny. Like she was like bone skinny and just looked so like deprived. She looked hungry. So I was like uh, no let's switch bodies just to see. So I put her onto a made to move blue top body. And I think it suits her well. And she still got her original uh, bracelets that she came with. And I had to pop off her hand in order to get the bracelets on because they have no opening or um, anything. And then she's just wearing one of our shirts. This is Fly Doll. And she's got just a simple outfit on. But anyway, she's really pretty and Poppy Parker is like my favorite head sculpt by Integrity Toys and I didn't have one before this. That's how, that's why I wanted it. And she's supposed to be original. She's a Polynesian one. So she looks kind of sort of Asian-ish. Just a little. She's so mean looking. <laughs> but she's really pretty and she has like dark jet black hair. That's her original hair. And her head, of course, like most Integrity dolls, it's very hard. So you cannot just pop their heads on and off. The way we do with our Barbie dolls, I have the squishy vinyl for their heads. Not with these guys, you do have to heat the head. And then lastly, for these skin tones, I have this doll, which is a Project MC Squared doll head, and this one. So her, I think I named her Pilar. And um, she was a fashionista doll for sure. But even though I don't normally like the sculpt, this is the head sculpt they use for the made to move blue top doll um, that we're calling Teresa. But I don't really, I don't really like the sculpt that much, but this version of the sculpt I did like. And it's, sometimes I come across a sculpt and I'll be like, oh, okay, they did a good job on the paint, on the face paint. So I'll keep it though. Uh, even though I don't really like the sculpts just in general, it has to be like a specific one. And I did like her big bun hairstyle, so I just left it the way that it is. But this is not really a bun. I think this is actually, it's gelled down. It's really, really hard, but it's actually short hair that they just kind of folded under to make it look like a bun. You know what I'm saying? So if I take this out and wash it, it's going to be like very, very short hair. Um, I love big hoop earrings. And to me, I mean, that she looks like a Hispanic girl, so that's why I named her Pilar. This doll was given to us. I think this doll was given to me too. This doll came with a bunch of other dolls that we had got from one of our Instagram friends. I ended up rebodying her head because I really like the red hair. I love red hair on dolls and people. I swear, you guys, like it'll be like people with these like unusual features that are so self-conscious about their looks and then everybody else who doesn't have those features will be like that's cool why do you not like the way you look like people who are like really tall they're like sometimes especially females they're very subconscious about being too tall and they're like always like trying to like hunch over their body uh language so that they can look smaller but you are supposed to be tall that's why you're tall <laughs> And it's like, it's okay, just own it. You're a tall person, That's everybody's different. You know, if we're all the same, life would be so boring. Anyway, this is another reason why I collect dolls because they represent people to me and I want my world to be this diverse. I want to see all these skin tones and features and heights and body sizes. That makes me very happy to see all the differences and like appreciate human beings for our differences i don't want us all to be the same you know but hey it is what it is all right how are we doing people uh are we hanging in there okay let's keep going <laughs> i want to say we're almost done but like that's only because i hope i can break this up into two parts instead of three 
but I, I cannot make a guarantee at this point. Okay, moving on. Next skin tone we're going to be looking at is this one. Um, this is the doll in the original head and body that she came with, which is a made to move doll. Which one is she? I don't really remember, to be honest. I want to say she's turquoise, but I could be wrong. So hopefully I was right. And she is turquoise. I know we have a turquoise. She has a very different head sculpt than what we are used to seeing. I don't really know the name of the sculpt, but this was the one that they used for the petite doll, one of the first petite dolls. Um, she came out with... She had like a really, really, really light pink hair, I think. And um, she had some French writing on her shirt, I remember. And oh, she was just really cute and small. But anyway, she was a blonde doll. That doll had the same sculpt as this. I don't know what the name of the sculpt is, but you guys tell me if you know. Anyway, but I just wanted to show you what the doll looked like originally. Um, of course, she's not wearing her yoga outfit that she came in. But this is the face. And her skin tone is like an orangey tan skin tone so i used her body for these dolls i'm about to show you this is the dolls of the world thailand uh i think and this was given to me by my good friend debs from texas who has sent me some other stuff before and um she found her in like somebody's old doll collection that she kind of inherited and she was new in the box still when she sent her to me so I thought that her like reddish orangey kind of skin tone might be okay on this body and that's how she ended up with this body it's a very difficult skin tone to match to be honest it's not quite exactly 100% but she can totally get away with it okay and then this also one of my A-list favorite dolls she is a gift from my friend Tevin who gifted me so many dolls and um she was a birthday wishes doll that was so freaking difficult for me to find in my area I was like bruh I was going to every freaking Walmart in and out of my town at the time when I lived in North Carolina I could not find her anywhere and I think actually yeah now that I'm thinking about it so poem she is a uh, part of the same um wave as this doll so they're both birthday wishes from the same year yeah but she's got that carnival carnival head sculpt which they used for obviously the carnival doll and also for my fao shorts doll the toy soldier doll that i showed you guys um so she's got the same head sculpt as eden here and she's just looking straight ahead instead of off to the side what an adorable sculpt the, this sculpt is so cute i really love it I think another name we have for this same sculpt is Leanne Rhymes because that's who they used to model this head after. I think the first doll that ever had this head was Leanne Rhymes doll. So yeah, so it both is um, used interchangeably to identify that doll. I think this one is a holiday Barbie. I do. I do think she's a holiday Barbie. And I want to say this is also a Carlisle Nuera um, edition, like something he designed. Uh, but she's not on her original body, of course. So, she got a transplant. But I love her sculpt. What is the name of the sculpt? She looks familiar. I don't think I have any other dolls with this head sculpt, to be honest. And very, another one that looks so real to me, like a real human being's face that they modeled this after. So she's really cute. And, um, she just has a very classy look about her. And she looks like she could pass for many different ethnicities or even mixed races so I love that this one is my Yona number two doll and I actually repainted her face to look very similar to another doll that I had painted previously with the same head sculpt and she was also a fashionista's doll before I did this of course but uh, I wanted to do like a more modern, up-to-date version of Yona because Yona was done from a very old, like a 90s release of this head sculpt. So I was like, well, maybe I'll do another version. So I did. And the repainting technique that I use for her is a little different than Yona's. This is the original Yona that I used in a skit in Broken Barbie Show. And I love her. Like, she just looks very, like confused all the time I guess 
I love how expressive her face looks, but um, her body is like cray cray. I mean, look at this body. First of all, what happened to her arm? Like, I don't know what happened. Her arm just popped off for no reason. And look at these legs. Like I had to tape the legs because they were so wobbly. <laughs> they would just like bend at their own will any time I tried to handle the doll, but I love her face. And I didn't want to just pop her head off and stick it on another body. So I was like, because it's hard to match her skin tone, you know, she's more red than this other doll is. But I don't know, but I don't want to get rid of her either. So I was like, let me just give her an updated face up and let's see how that goes. So I don't know if this is going to end up being my final version, but because I've repainted this head like three times. Um, but whatever, it's close enough for now and I don't mind it. So She's kind of cute. <laughs> I'm going to leave her alone for now. But anyways, you guys might see her later looking different. Um, but yeah, but all these dolls are on that body. And none of them are like semi-hybrid dolls. So it is what it is. Okay, no worries. I fixed her arm, but I don't know what that was. Like, why did her arm come off? <laughs> That's crazy. I had this doll packed up all this time. And then her arm just wants to come right on off. Anyways, but I love her though. She looks like my mom when my mom was younger. Thanks for watching this far. The next batch of skin tones will be shown in the next installment of this series. So go ahead and watch that. It should be next in the upcoming videos. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything right here on Broken Dolly TV. Have a dolly day.